Hi, I'm Router Bob. Welcome to Shop Saber Minutes. Today we're going to be exploring the drive motors that we use on our Shop Saber CNC machines. We get asked frequently about the motors that we use on Shop Saber CNCs. I thought I'd take a little time to explain some of that technology to you. What you see here are the basic three type motors that you might find on one of our machines. If the machine is a small footprint, a small work envelope machine, it might simply use stepper motors like this Sanyo Denki motor sourced in Japan. Very high quality, very dependable technology and great for small machine applications. For larger footprint machines, in most cases that typically utilize rack and pinion drive systems, we combine the Techniques ClearPath brushless servo motors with planetary drives. These actually have the motors and drives combined to create a very compact design solution while bringing closed loop feedback technology to the process. That would be for plasma and less demanding routing. It's a great application for those type machining requirements. Now, once a machine gets to a certain size and the speeds are higher, it takes more power. And in that case, we switch to Mitsubishi servos. And that's what this is. One of the reasons we do that is because as you will hear me talk in some of the videos about shop saber developing machine tool grade CNC routers. So to do that, we basically use the same type of drive motor technology that you might find with a big machine tool builder. Let's take a closer look at this Mitsubishi servo motor. Technically, this is an AC digital servo. Now, first off, we selected Mitsubishi because it's a really high quality producer. In fact, some of the finest machine tool builders in the world use Mitsubishi technology. And their criteria is the same as ours, reliability, longevity, and accuracy. Now, these are closed loop systems, and here's what that means. The servo drives know what is happening is the easiest way to explain this. Let's say your truck has a GPS system and you select a route to a specific destination. You're driving along and you fail to pay attention and you miss a turn. The GPS recognizes this and immediately recalculates the route. You get to the destination just fine. On a closed loop drive system, the encoders constantly send data back to the drives, enabling the drives to realize something is wrong. But in this case, there's so much information flowing that correction can be made almost instantaneously. Now, let's contrast that to our truck without the GPS. We missed a turn, but we didn't know it, so we just kept driving in the wrong direction. Eventually, we end up lost. This would compare to a CNC machine driven by steppers. Steppers don't have encoders, so there's no way for them to relay the positional data back to the drives. The term losing a step is the same as being lost in your truck example, but it's actually worse with the machine because after it becomes lost, the next move can be a random move and that can be catastrophic. Now let's focus on the machine and let's say you have an abnormality. Well, what is an abnormality? Well, in woodworking, it could be a piece of wood that falls off the table and jams between the gantry and the table. That causes a mechanical problem. These motor drives sense that immediately. Not only does the system sense the problem, it can also monitor the other drive motors. So as soon as that abnormality happens, everything stops so you don't tear anything up. That's what a closed loop feedback is used for. What you see on the end of the servo motor is an absolute encoder. That sends data directly to the servo drive. This allows the servo drive to always know the servo motor's position. Now the way that works is there's actually a glass encoder inside the motor. We use glass because it does not change very much with temperature changes. Some of the competitors use plastic encoders to save money, but they're just not as accurate. As the motor warms up, the plastic changes size, affecting the positional accuracy. The other thing is the servo drives actually check positions about 10 times more per revolution than a typical competitor does. So these drive systems are much more accurate. This means they can respond to problems much more quickly than the competitor's machines do. Integrating the complete Mitsubishi motion package on our Shop Saber CNC machine tool grade CNC routers really turned out to be a great move for Shop Saber, and it's allowed us to develop into the leader in our market segment.
FEA is one of the reasons we've done so well with the Shop Saber CNC routers because the machine motion design and specification are all integrated into our design process. FEA is short for Finite Element Analysis and is an engineering software package that allows us to simulate production loads. So when we spec a drive motor, it's all tailored to the specific needs of that machine. A lot of competitors don't do that. They just put something on a machine frame and if it works, it works. We're not that way. Even when we put stepper motors on smaller machines, we rarely have a problem because everything is engineered to work together. That's what you get when you work with Shop Saber CNC. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Shop Saber Minute. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thanks for watching.